I love our job. <laughs> right. Yes, our first guest needs no <laughs> introduction. Mm -hmm. She's a New York Times bestselling author, a legendary life coach, and host of the hit series, Iyanla Fix My Life which is back for another season. That's right. Here to discuss her hit show, Oprah's Life You Want Weekend Tour, and how to forgive everyone for everything is the incomparable Iyanla Van Zandt. Iyanla! Hey, hey, thank you. Thank you, you for having me. You need one name. I know. Right. Yeah. <laughs> they only do that for introduction. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> thank you so much for being here. Okay, we've got me. to talk about this new season. <laughs> oh, yeah. I don't even know where to begin. I mean, okay. Begin with all the kids. Begin, okay. begin there. <laughs> so, you open the season. Yeah. Introducing us to Jay. He's an Atlanta based man who has 17 babies' mamas. Yeah. 34 children. children. Right. My goodness. Yeah. What made you decide to tackle this story? He, and was this one of your biggest challenges? No, you know, I didn't want to do this story. Really? He came to us last season and I said, I, I couldn't figure out what the fix was. Mm -hmm. Because if I can't figure out the fix, there's no reason to do the show. Mm -hmm. He came to us, like 90% of our guests. So last season, I wouldn't do it. And then when I looked at it this season again, I said, you know, the only way I would do it is if we can do it in parts, because mm -hmm. there's no way we can tell this story and be respectful of the players or the, the, the healing in one story. So we set out to do two, and that turned to three, and now we have four because of the depths of the issues here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, we, I was going to say, we actually have a clip of your show. Let's yeah. take a look and then discuss more. Okay. 34 pieces of yourself generating from 17 different sources. What do you think? Sick. Okay, My heart's broken. Tell me about Shit. that. Tell me about it. Tell me about your broken it's been heart. Been broke. It's born broke. Yeah. But even if you're born like this, you have a life, and you get to choose how you live it. Mm, wow, that's so true. I mean, your show is huge on social media. It has great ratings. But what do you want your viewers to learn from Jay's story besides to clearly use protection? <laughs> <laughs> no, it, it's really about. Um, take responsibility for the choices you make day by day. Mm. That, if we don't get anything else out of that, we can look at the causes, we can look at the history, we can look at the reasons we make some of the choices, but then once you make the choice, you've got to live in the consequence and you've got to take responsibility for the choices that you made. What, why were these women with this man? What sorts of reasons, explanations, justifications did they give you? You know, I met with uh, four of the women who, who have Jay's children and an entire audience of women recently, which will make up the fourth installment of this show. Mm -hmm. And I said to them, was it the person and what he did for you or brought to you? Was it the penis and the temporary pleasure or was it the promise? The person, the penis, or the promise? 90% of them said the promise. The promise. The promise of being something better, the promise of having more. It was the promise, the promise that he'll do better. And I think most women just want to be chosen. Mm. And, and the promise that he was choosing them over all others, they stayed. So I, even with all of that baggage, the promise outweighed all of his baggage? Well, some of them really didn't know about the, the baggage. Mm. Some of them really didn't know. Is he taking care of these children? Some of them. Mm. And, you know, he's got different groups. Um, but he, he, as you could see from the show, he couldn't even hold on to all of them. 34 children is a lot. There's no way he can be your traditional normal father. There's okay. just no way. Let's talk about forgiveness. Mm -hmm. I know, we know that that's part of your mission, spreading yeah. the gospel of forgiveness <laughs> and how important it is. Yeah. What's at stake if we don't forgive and how has that forgiveness message been received? Let's just take the 17 mothers of Jay Williams' mm -hmm. children. There's a piece in there where they have to forgive themselves for allowing themselves to participate in, in this to their own detriment, Jay's detriment. Yeah. It's a detriment to this man to have 34 children mm. and to the children. 
And if they don't forgive that, they will stay in the shame of it, the anger of it, the upset of it. They won't be able to be fully present for themselves or fully present for them, their children. They won't be able to support their children in creating a relationship with their father separate and apart from their relationship with him. Jay has a relationship with those women, but he also has a relationship with the children. Everybody in those realms, they need to forgive. Themselves, each other, the possibility, they just need to forgive. And if people need help learning how to forgive, they can come see you on the Oprah Life You Want weekend tour, right? Yes, Going they sure the can. And you're uh -huh. offering a six-week course six -week online course as well about forgiveness. How to really do it mm -hmm. at Oprah.com. Okay, Oprah. I'm going to sign up. Thank you so much. <laughs> we appreciate Thank your you time. Oh, you're always so great. Thank, Thank you, Yanla. And we'll be right back with more Rise Entertainment 360.